to position for the opening draw. The Wild have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Fires it on net. Scores! He puts it in on a second effort. Well, this goal will be in the video room tomorrow, James, because it's second effort, and you know that coaches love that. Real-time processing with a sweet set of mitts, just making the goaltender move out of position and then recognizing when you have the net to put it in. Minnesota's on the board just like that. This crowd, we thought it was hot before. It's gone next level already. Well, it has because it's the opening minute of the game when they score, and this is exactly what they wanted. You want to elevate the crowd. You want to get the momentum behind you. Man, they were off. They were off. And they dictated the pace. What a steal in his own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Gets a piece of it and will play on. And he can't hang on after that hit. Here's a short pass to Newman. In. Boom! Oh, nowhere to go on the play. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. They're Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, he makes a beautiful play for this goal, James. It's all in the pass, his deception, and he really eludes his defender with his eyes. Then he's got his hands as an extension of his body, and how about his feet? Everything is moving, his awareness is off the charts, and as a result, they get the goal. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. And it's a quick pass to Kachuk. Six the feet in front. Nobody comes up with a stop. Chris has been consistent all season long. I mean, his team's in the winning column. The same percentage is up, and he's a real reason why they have a chance in every game. The Coyotes have played the puck from behind the net. Directs it on over to Kachuk. Good stand-up hit on the play. Puts it on net. Oh, and he had it for off his back. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Cuts to the front. Oh, he got paddled by Joseph. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Stalls won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Arizona's got it in their own zone. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. There's a shot. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James and that athletic and the will to get to that puck. I was on display. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Moves with the puck in the corner. And serves up a little knock on the play. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. And they win the draw in their own end. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to champion. Across the line and on the attack. And he takes a shot. Tremendous stop by Joseph. Oh, this is the net. What a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the tendy. Ready to get that significant other in your life or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey? Team Store's got you covered. Visit them online. towards a 
perfect ender. It just zips right by. The Wild have gone up by one here in this first period, but there's still a lot of runway to go. Uh, I think the biggest thing is you want to have the momentum, James. You want to be the one with the jump and first to the puck, which means you want to be able to manipulate your bench accordingly. You want to dictate the pace, and it's all about getting the lead like they have but trying to stretch it out even further with the next one. The Coyotes move the puck into the defensive zone. Great stick work with the steal. Moves it to Michael. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Now the puck's on his stick. He's still waiting for his first. Will he get it today? There's the whistle as the play was offside. Officials are set. Players seem ready for a minute to get this thing back underway. Minnesota's won the faceoff at center. And he connects with the long bomb. Quick feed to Yandel. Moves the puck to Beckman. Drives it to the crease! Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. And makes the save. the period has expired. Minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Quick pass to Enroth. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Here's a chance. And that's stopped. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. There's always a lot of anticipation when you're playing your former team for the first time. Listen, you're friends with a lot of the players that are on the ice. You know their tendencies. But when you step on it, you are enemies. And you got to find a way to have the upper hand. Because at the end of the game, guess what? You want the bragging rights. Takes a shot. Denies him. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive. And he wins the battle. Take it along the wall by this guy.
for success. Enron's good at driving to the crease while protecting the puck with his body. It's his big rig zone ability. Look to one of these players to be a difference maker in this one. Back up to the booth. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, to Bison with the paddle save. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning. And for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible. And everyone knows he's athletic to boot. The Coyotes have it now. Drills them. Oh, my, with the deal up. No, they didn't like that. And here we go. They're going to fight. I didn't like it because it was a dangerous play, James. And you got a player down as a result. And of course, you got to respond. And it results in dropping the mitts. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and break it up. The home side is going to gain a lot of adrenaline after that win. Frustration, physicality, and that fight says it all. Fair to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have pulled their jets, and here's the upcoming face-off. Koivu's won it in their own end. Now a quick pass to Kane. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Whoa. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit, and it just took me off guard. Intercepted at center by Koivu. The Coyotes look to start the transition game. Grabbed along the board by Yandel. players as a coach what goes through your mind seeing a young player like that get his first goal well you can see how excited the entire bench including the coaches for him james because you know the hard work and the sacrifice it is to get to this level and then you get that first goal under your belt the moment that you've dreamt of everyone is aware of how it feels so you're transcending that you're feeling it for him 
20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. storyline here throughout the game. And now we know for sure he won't be back. Musa quickly over to... Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he is behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Minnesota's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Coyotes take it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Keller. Goes right to the crease. And he elects to explore his options. Poked away in the neutral zone. Tries to feed it over to Schmaltz. The Coyotes play it along the boards. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Pass to Newman. The Coyotes carry it along the wall. And kept that one out of the net. Well, you can't make the save if you don't know where the puck is going to be, James. Well, he has a perfect read on this play. Reads that pass right across the crease and makes the save. Pinned up along the boards. Intercepted at the offensive end by Kobe. Here's a blast. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Joseph. Minnesota's been rewarded for putting pucks on net here early in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he gets in the lane to block that. Jersey's got it in the offensive zone. Great heads up play by the defender. Granlin's got the puck in his own zone. Off the left wing and into center. Arizona's got it along the wall. Sends the pass in front. And that's intercepted. And now he moves it quickly to Gostaspare. They go on the attack from the left side. They put the puck into the offensive end. And it's kicked away. Long pass up ahead to center. Puck dumped in. Minnesota's got the puck. Stalls gained the line and on the attack. Gunther stick handling in his own zone. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Moves it to champion. Oh, what a stick save! Joseph's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Oh, big hit on the play. Look at this, he's on his own pitch. Oh, he's not going to live this one down for a while, James. You know that he's going to get rats for a bit because he's in the laps of his teammates. I think he's okay. This is slightly bruised ego. Quick feed to Yandel. Oh, what a hit. Well, you know that this is how he plays, James. He's been lining them up all night long. He's doing a great job of physically engaging. And Ross across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Quick pass to Schmaltz. Oh, he rocked him! Puck exits the zone. He's got a little jump. All alone! Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. He's got a step on a breakaway! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Minnesota sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. An opportunity. 
opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And a great read to turn that play aside. Centering feed, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it on another gear, and they have done that here. There's a collision. Moves it quickly over to Jersey. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Here's a chance. Great save from in tight. And he takes the dish. Oh, they do it again. dominated this one from the moment the puck dropped in the first, and look who we are here now in period number two. Well, this is a team that honed in and came ready to play. I mean, they sharpened their sticks, if you will, because they knew that they were going to win every puck battle. They've been first to it, they've been fast, they've had their legs underneath them, and they've generated a ton of offense. Schmaltz is the captain of this team. He's very aware of the situation. They're down in a hole, but what better opportunity to get back in it with this face-off right here. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. And now he angles it across to Michael. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks oh. it up. And he slides it quickly to Keller. Here's a chance. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Minnesota's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Moussa to Niskanen. And it's a quick pass to Michael. The Coyotes get a hold of it. Moves it around along the half wall. Minnesota's got the puck. Silverberg's gaining momentum. A little rock and suck him on the play. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Passes it to Falamaki. And that's hooked away. They've got numbers. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Newmanen's moving the puck through his own zone. And that's knocked away by Koivu. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Comes up with the stop. And Ross is back on the ice after serving a five minute major for fighting and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box as sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. Koivu's won the draw here in the offensive zone. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Minnesota's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they continue to lead here late in period number two. Hammers one. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And he slides it quickly to Colton. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position. Square to the shooter in the slot, he makes the glove hand save. Minnesota's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Stalls won the draw. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Now a quick pass to Keller. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly, no time in space there, and just crushes him. What a hit. There's another stop. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Oh, 
I expect that they're going to go back to the umbrella formation, James. They had success earlier on it on the power play with three up high trying to move the coverage. Hey, for everyone who wants to draw it up, it's exactly what it looks like, the top of an umbrella, and then you're getting the coverage to move around, and then you can use those cross-seam passes and you can ski down it for a shot as well. Shuts it down with the power, what a stop! Ready to take the charge here on this power play. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's a smart heads up play by Beckman. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this too. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down. One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Minnesota's won the opening face-off, and their power play continues. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Hayton's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Angles it over to Schmaltz. Quick shot! Comes up with a monster save in front. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Grandlin's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. We got a stoppage, let's get the call. I just had a game here at the bench and the energy and the body language, I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Special teams back out onto the ice and it's a five on three man advantage as the puck gets set to be dropped. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Stop that one. Soderstrom swooping in on the attack. Lays into the body. Slides it diagonally to Stahl. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Great defensive effort with the stick. Oh, and he lays out to block. Sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Here's a blast. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. Big opportunity here on the power play with this offensive zone face out. Well, a lot of ice available to get the goal to is extremely easy to get a move in East West. There's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Centering pass, and that's intercepted. And he takes the pass. Here's a shot! And then Karen's right off the mask! I've never been a goaltender except in road hockey, James. I tell you, if you take one off the mask, you gotta be rattling. But nonetheless, he finds a way to get the save. And that's what you gotta do. Put everything in front of it if you wanna make the stop. Quick feed to Burns. Denies him! He got out of it! And this one has really put the pressure on now. Right behind the net. quickly to champion. Minnesota's in transition. Lead pass ahead. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James.
James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it. Always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute... Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, on the play! Wow! Oh, God, a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Minnesota's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. And he passes it up ahead to DeBrusk. Good use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Coyotes gain control of the puck. Minnesota's got the lead early in the third period. They have been the far busier team offensively tonight. Hayton's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And he stopped that one. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Quick pass to Kachuk. Another hit. He will feel this one by the end of the night. Oh, a tough night for him. He's going to have to keep his head up and move that puck quickly if he doesn't want to get banged again. Arizona's got it along the wall. And the puck's knocked loose. Minnesota's looking to break out. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Arizona's got a hold of the puck now. Tosses it to Niskanen. And that pass attempt is deflected. Arizona's looking to break out of their own end. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Newmanen. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Sends the pass over. Picked off by Burns. Here's a short pass to Stahl. Arizona's got it in the neutral zone. The Coyotes move it ahead. Fires it into the offensive zone. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Niskanen. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Oh, talk about finishing your check. Wow. Handles the pass. Shot. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Moving into the attacking zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one. But he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Looks to get the puck over to Pominville. With possession along the wall. Comes up with a steal. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Break away. been way more active here tonight on the ice and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. And sneaks in there on the tie-up and comes up with the puck. Moves it to Silverberg. Gaining momentum along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Kraus. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. The Wild have possession along the boards. Into the offensive end now. A chance in front. And that's stopped. Takes the feet at the back end. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Handles the puck. Oh, fantastic stop there. Chris is able to put that puck to the corner. And it really keeps the puck at harm's way. No second shot opportunity. Drives to the page. Stones him in front. Minnesota's 
played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Works it across to Kane. Big time stop. And they'll get a free. The rest of the goaltender covers it up. Colorado's on the schedule next, and tickets still available for this one, so get them before they're gone. And both centers glide into the dot as a faceoff set to resume. The Coyotes win the defensive zone faceoff. Quick feed to Kane. Cuts to the paint. How did he stop that one? He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. There's the whistle. We'll get a faceoff after the goalie covers up. Minnesota's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals. Nice job tying up his opponent. Kane's lugging the puck. Minnesota's on the attack. Picked up by Newman. Quick pass to Kane. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. And makes the save. Arizona's got the puck along the boards. Hayden's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Shuts him down. Pass back to the point. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. Check in with our own Carlin Bain. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Keller's got my vote in this game, guys. Neither player we talked about earlier has been able to get on the board, but despite that, I think he's been engaged and worked hard out there. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Cullen. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Picked up along the wall by Hayton. Here's a short pass to Newman. In. Slides the puck over to Gunther. And that's picked off. Clutterbuck's got the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Coyotes move it in. Moves it to Schmaltz. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Taken along the wall by Newman. And will play on as that gets a piece of the glove. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. And they'll skate it out of the zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Schmaltz. Picked up along the boards by Keller. Scores! Well, he's known for his gift to distribute, James, but it's easier said than done. You're under pressure, there's traffic, but every single time he's got pinpoint accuracy and delivers right to his teammate's stick. Minnesota's put in one of the most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, a big time late in this third. Wins the draw at center. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. Minnesota's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Feeds it over to Champion. Quick feed to Silverberg. Stones him in the one tire. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. And you can chop up another victory for a team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, they've got a winning streak going, and, and any time you have something like that going, just feel like you're going to win when you step onto the ice and you're confident and you've got swagger and everything seems to be clicking. You've got to look and you've got to really embrace when it feels like that. Well, that brings the night to an end and we will say goodbye here from Rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. i got to get to bed. See ya.